Hi, hello, welcome back to another episode of the Monster Train. It's me, Cranberry. How's it going? Hopefully you're having a good one. Nothing really new to talk about at the start here, although I will say we are rapidly approaching the 500 uh, subscriber milestone. I was planning on doing some sort of event. I don't know what. Uh, I was talking about maybe doing uh, speed runs of Super Mario 64 with Voidix, trying to force him to learn the game, basically, but... I don't know. I'm not, I'm not so much feeling it anymore. I don't know what it is exactly, but I feel like... <coughs> oh, sorry. Just, I, I don't know. I don't feel like it would be a good goal. So I'm trying to think of something else to do. If you have any suggestions, any ideas, please let me know. Love to hear what you got. Um, but yeah, that's it. And of course, you know, more Elden Ring stuff coming out. The, the carrying retaliation video is still popping off, which is pretty cool. But, um, you know... You know how it is. What do we got here? We got Wormkin, <laughs> Exiled Umbra support. Not loving it, but I like Prismal Dust and Echo Snare here, I think. Or Echo Snare, not as much. This is not purple, but this is a, this is a good start. I'm okay with this here. It's our first relic. Not not taking Shadow Box, absolutely not. We'll take the Pyre Wall. I'm a Corruptor fan. Early game is cool to give the Morsels buffs with Corruptor. It's kind of neat. Um, Merchant of Seal Umber Banner. I don't love it. I'll take the Divine Boon though still here. And I'll probably go left side. Look for look for an egg or something. Arc of Invasion. Pretty easy here with Plinks. Hopefully should be able to help us through this with little, little issue. Okay. We'll just make sure you guys all definitely die next turn. Chip away down here a bit. Play it like this. That all looks pretty good. Train Stewart again coming in for a quick little hit. This all seems fine. I'd rather just get more purple here rather than play the dust. We can maybe hit it on the cycle. Do something a bit more impactful with it. We'll see. Happy to plink that man away. I think that was a mistake there. We don't really. Echo Snare is not really that impactful of a card to draw here, but whatever. Yeah. Well, you know. In the end, it's fine. Yeah. This man is very dead. Very, very done for. Cool, cool, cool. Good start. Happy happy to play not Tethys here. Um and happy to take a shelter. Shelter's looking pretty good right now in this current configuration. You know, I, I could be convinced, although actually, no, I can't be convinced. I do not want to play Perils of Production because we're going to set up the Diligent, so no thank you. I'll just take a Mind Collapse's filler for now. Not super excited about it, but whatever. What are you going to do? We will hit left side. Get a Surge Stone. The Mind Collapse is a pretty good Surge Stone target, I guess. We'll see how things go. Nightmare. Nightmare units to have here. We'll take Kino's Vessel, but I, I am not liking this at all. Um, eggs, eggs struggle with Spine Chief a little bit. You need a lot of purple generation for this to work. Which we could get there. I'm not saying we can't, but I just don't want to get there. <laughs> not how I prefer to play this. We'll cost down shelter. We'll surge stone. Probably just a plink here. Same mind, we might do it to mind class before, but I don't, I don't like it that much here as an option. And with Broken Memories, I'm less incentivized to Eternal Stone the Shelter here. I think it's okay, though. You know what? While we're here, let's get a, let's get a Train Steward out while, while we have some cash. Be a little proactive, huh? So maybe a little reckless, but I do think we want to get this unit draft here. Although these, these, these waves are pretty tricky with it. We got a hatch too. No, let's not. Let's not. It might end up killing us. I love early unit drafts, but 
It's certainly a little dicey. Okay. Okay, let's keep feeding the son of a gun. There we go, get rid of the curse boy. How much shells we have left? Three? Okay, sick. We'll get there then. Boom. The big man does get the walk though, which is unfortunate, but we got that we got that pyre wall helping us out. I think we just take this as a shield. Bring this back for next turn, do it again. Let let uh let the bug do what the bug does. Okay. Thank you, bug. You didn't even need the buff from Corruptor there to get the dub. Our return soul here is amazing. I like Echo Infusion, don't get me wrong, but we need crystals and return soul gets us there. And we're pretty desperate, so I think I'll take the Antumbra Assault, but I don't love it. I do not love seeing it here. Not going Umbra Banner Path. We'll go right side. Take a little something from the shop here. Get a holdover. Holdover Return Soul here seems amazing. And then... I like Mark. Mark of an Exile here. I, I think this is the most... Uh, brittle, the most, the, the least tanky of the Spine Chief path, so taking the mark here seems like a pretty good pick. Um. We'll keep Surge starting the planks too, I suppose. Like, why not, right? Pump up the Prismal Dust whenever we can. I don't like where we're at, although I don't know how we're going to actually kill anything in the late game at this point. Oh. Um... Sad we skipped that holdover. Well, no, we didn't skip it, but we put it on the uh, the return slot because this would have been a much better holdover target. Uh, we could... No, we don't want to put the plus 10 on that guy. I think we can make her here. We could do... You know what we could do? We could do half infusion. We can do half infusion into the carapace. I like that. That might get, that might get us there. Uh, I'm down to give it a shot. So we want probably double multi or, or multi quick, but I think double multi is the way to go. Ah, maybe, maybe multi quick if we have trample. I don't know. It's kind of a tough choice. Um, we can't stop this bomb. But I think that's okay. Not the end of the world at the very least. Oh come on, that that's BM. Shield down real quick. But I would like bog slime in this deck. I think this is a good bog slime situation. You fuck you. Fuck fuck you, buddy. This is real quick. Like what the fuck? That that is messed up. I'm I'm angry. Okay. I see how we're going to play this. I understand the rules now. I understand what's happening. I just want to say you should be ashamed of yourself. Monster train. Okay, whatever. Um... Broken memory that back. Actually, we should have gone. We should have gone down here, I think. But whatever, it's not a big deal. Hmm. Good, nothing in the discard pile, which is unfortunate. Um. 
Yeah, but like this time it doesn't hit anything. You know, whatever, whatever. It's cool. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal is the thing. This is why I'm not upset about anything here. This has all been good and normal so far. The damage shield back there for the time being. Oh, you know, I shouldn't. I should have skipped the damage shield so we can return soul at this turn. That was a misplay, without a doubt. Um. I think we're okay here, though. My man's gonna apply a lot of reap. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine, cheap dies right away, but we still get there. Cool, cool, cool. Um. Purple Shroud Spike. We don't make morsels very consistently, so I don't like it. This is all terrible. I hate this game. Um. We'll just skip. We will just skip our rare pick there, I guess. Um, I want the Hef Infusion. I will not take these either. And we will take probably a card draw here. The question is what? Oh, the question is what? We care about... Mm. So so here's the thing, right? Half is going to give us... Actually, no, maybe, maybe we need... Maybe we need a uh, space first. Because here's the thing, right? So we take half infusion. Half infusion, let me double check, is I think two size increase, right? Half. Two size, yeah. So as it stands, we need a size upgrade. We'll snag it now. We'll snag this now and then actually card draw next. I think. We do need upgrades, but we're pretty cash poor right now. But we get removals. So we're going to go right side. Love getting rid of the train stewards here. And then get the Merchant of Steel. I think quick is good here. We're going to trample multi. They can take the quick. We'll look at the Wormkin banner and we'll say no thank you. Because we kind of have a plan. Although, I don't know. how Our plan seems not great. Hmm. Is first of kind a better scaling plan? I don't think so. I think it's worse. I think... Hopefully the idea is that we also find Holdover and Extreme Stone for this Wingmaker. And then we soften them with Wingmaker, and then we trample over with, with Kinhost Vessel, with the scaling we get from Corruptor. That's what that's how I'm hoping this works. Got the Extreme Stone. That's a good pickup here. Definitely play uh, Corruptor. And we definitely... I think we take the, the, the trial here. We're, we're, we need money. We need money so we can buy things. I know there's curse combats here, which is a little bit worrisome. Maybe we play bottom floor. No, we don't play bottom floor. It'll be take, take too long. We just accept the curses into our heart and soul. Um... Like that. Now we're just trying to hatch as fast as we can right now. It's a mad dash.
Okay. So we're hatching it this turn, which is nice. Taking a lot of damage, though, for doing this. Like a lot, a lot of damage. Okay. Hey, we get the we get the wingmaker here, which is nice. Maybe we wingmake mid floor here. Just we stop taking curses. Oh, we got common here. I think we shelter, return soul shelter. For a lot of armor. Play that for no reason. These do kill when they hit the absolvers here. Okay, don't hate it. that here. Chip in a little bit. Yeah, we get the dub already. Good. Didn't even need to lie, cheat, and steal. Um... Slot a fracture down, too. Okay, good. Could have been better, could have been worse. Um... Hmm. I think we're desperate. I think we'll take a forgotten trade. We just need every purple card we can find, basically. Prism Retrieval, we're not we're not that desperate for, I don't think. Engine upgrades will looking pretty good though, I think. Could use some extra energy. Um And we need that holdover. Holdover is pretty important here for this wingmaker. So we'll go right. So we get removals too. Maybe we get like a cool cavern event. Who knows? Remove there. And we'll remove a plank as well. They're going to start falling off hard here. So happy to have that gone from the deck. Umbra stone. What are you umbra stone here? First of all, this is okay. Well, you probably just do this on a double stack too. When I first of dust, I mean, yeah. Although, ooh, we shouldn't have done that because now we don't have enough money here if we get a... Hold over, potentially. Okay, not punished. That would that would have hurt my soul. Mm. Go dust there. Look at the temple. And then we need the value stone. I don't think so. Not really. A little low on shards, all things considered. But you know, not a huge deal. Um, weird, 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 weird. Hmm. Couple interesting things here. One, the vessel has armor, and if it ever actually takes damage, it might as well be dead, basically. Um, because it only has 10 HP, but. I don't think that's a good argument for taking one Horn Stone here. It's making me realize that this egg is still pretty fragile. Is what I'm actually worried about now, so I don't know. We don't need Wildwood Tone. We already have Quick. I kind of like Remnant Pack here because we can slap that on Spine Chief if it ever dies. And we just replay it. Although when Hef gets big... Like when, when the... When the Kinho's pupa hatches. I think there's no room for a spine chief anymore, right? Although, oh no, that should be okay because of Wingmaker. Okay, Wingmaker makes that okay. We should get more space because of Wingmaker. Good, okay. Um, nice, nice, nice. Any day now, though, Wingmaker. Would like to see that half so we can infuse it sometime. Uh... Spell Shield 2 does mess up our Wingmaker, so I think we'll pass this. But it, it does hurt. I 
don't know why I did that. I don't think it really helped anything. Let's just hatch. We don't need to run impact this this combat, I don't think. I think here we just want to hatch as quick as we can. We'll do this now, right? Yeah. It's a pretty good turn as far as, you know, just doing good stuff there. A deadly problem with the Wingmaker there. Absolutely. Everyone's dying, so that's good. Let's broken memories back the Wingmaker again. Okay. I think that's enough because I, th I think I forget if Wingmaker cares about amount of times played or amount of units killed. But either way, that should be enough to I hope hopefully get us to the heft now. Probably, maybe. Um, just play that. Play this down here. We're just gonna go all out for this shelter here, basically. I think it's okay to lose a. Eh. No, I don't think so. Never mind. I think a fracture. Oh man, I just realized it's self made heartbeat. Blah. You fracture here? It's like the same, honestly. Yeah. We get there. Do not plink, it'll make the sick of hand stronger. Okay. Good. This is working. It feels like we're just barely hanging on by a thread, though. I think Revenge of the Damned is pretty solid here. Although it's pretty weak in the first two turns when we don't have anything to kill with it. Hmm. It's a tough one. I think it's actually a skip for us. I think I think it doesn't help us enough, but I don't know. We could have we could have had a sick perils run if we didn't have freaking Seraph the Diligent, which is just sad. Um, second engine upgrade is a little too greedy, so I think we skip that as well. A low hef. Welcome aboard. Let's shove you in our unit right now. And we'll go left side here too. Get our get our second upgrade. Hopefully a multi-strike for the Kinos vessel. What you got? Damn. Okay, that worked out very well. We'll snag that. Come in here. Hef goes into the Kinhos vessel. Very good. Gives us some nice base stats too on the vessel. And then hopefully with Trample and Wingmaker support, we'll get there. Um, we have two Magic Shops and a Hellvent to go to. Hopefully we find Holdover. If we don't, we'll just lower the cost and duplicate it and hope that's enough. And uh, yeah. This feels solid. It doesn't feel like just overpowered or game winning yet, but we'll, we'll get a feel for it hopefully in this combat. We are against the worst fell. Puts curses in our hands, so this is going to be a little tricky. Yeah, this is going to be rough. <laughs> Terrible opening hand, too, I gotta say. G 
Jesus. Okay, well. Should have played that on this one down here, I'm realizing. A little bit of a mistake on my part. Now, I think we take this curse hit. We're going to need the energy to play the rest of the curses we're going to see. And we have the firewalls too, which is, you know, helpful in mitigating that. Okay, what do we have? Consumable? Broken memories. Let me kill you. Bring you back. Start hatching. It's rough out here. It is rough. here. I guess Forgotten Trade. I hate them all. I guess I'll take that one. I don't like the play there. We gotta do it just for the sake of getting the hatch down faster. We're two away. Okay, we did get there. We're taking some hits though. Taking yeah, taking taking a bit of damage. But we're now in a better spot, I think. What can we bring back? Shelter. Okay, well. Not the most amazing shelter turn ever, but it's fine. It's enough damage for the beetle to get there, which is good. Um, he's start, he's start, he's starting to uh to fuck shit up now, which is good. We do need to bring back a prismal dust here, I believe. make it purple and I think I think six is enough hopefully maybe we need to take the, the, the damage there and do eight I don't know I get a little morsel maybe fuck me never mind how dare how dare I even consider the option anyway we, we win Fuck you, Fell. Our, our beetle is doing great. Um, although, I don't know how indicative this is of the last combat. We'll see. We will see. Take my money. Oh my god, incubation. Thank you. Thank you, accelerated incubation. We'll take card draw here, too. We, we pretty desperately need it. But we're, we're through, I feel like, the hardest part now, actually. We need to look for Holdover. We'll go left here. Maybe we'll get a good Relic, too. Who knows? I'll take Grindstone. It's not the best, but it's something. Not loving Stackstone. No, 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 no. Not loving that. I think we'll reduce the cost of Upgrade here. And then Roll. <laughs> Is there a stack stun synergy I'm not thinking of here? No. Okay, yeah. Roll it. Hmm. Uh. Okay. I will surge stone another plink. I'll save the rest of my money for the last shop. We do need... Well, we do need to first make sure that we have enough shards. So let's come in here real quick and uh, 
absolutely do this. That's a big, a big, a big money play there. I don't want a value stone. We have one more temple, right? No, we have a horde. So we go to 90. Okay, we need to put this on something, I guess. Although, if we dupe the Wingmaker... I think we're duping the Wingmaker almost no matter what here. With or without Holdover, we're probably going to dupe it. So I think... We get 10 shards for that, because it's a 15 shard upgrade. Yeah, we'll just go 15 and 10 there. That seems good to me. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, We don't need a ton of money. Don't get me wrong, 400 would be cool. But I think it causes some problems for us, like our life. And it being zero. So, I don't love the prospect here. 400 is a lot, though. I think we're going to have a much bigger damage spike than you'll realize from the uh, Corruptor, potentially. So, let's rock it. I ain't scared of nothing. And we got the Incubation, too. So, we're going to hatch a lot quicker as well. Hold on. Sequencing. Take two. Mm. He may end up dying here, so let's be careful. Well, they shelter on a better turn. We can get more value out of it, I feel like. Okay, this is not great. I'll be the first to admit it. It's not so bad though either. See, so yeah, boom. Floor cleared, no damage, egg hatch, perfect. Now Wingmaker the floor. We are looking good in the neighborhood right now. I guess in a weird roundabout way, hold over uh hold over return soul is kinda like a holdover uh wingmaker. Kinda, if you if you don't think about it very hard. Um, okay, I have a plan here. It's a really good one. Check this out. Boom. Oh wait, hold on. This is wrong. Now whatever. This wasn't the really the real plan, but whatever. There you go. Solid. Solid plays. Um, taking some spike damage, it's not a big deal. Oh, no more cards to draw, dang it. Hey, these are a little scary. A tiny bit, not a bunch, but a little bit scary. You're hitting 450 around. Thank you, Planks. Good work. Get a Wingmaker back here. Make some space. Should have played the Morsel this floor. Okay. Backliners killed. Mission accomplished. I think we're getting the dub. I think... I think Kinos Pupa is going to get us there. Which is kind of crazy because I kind of I kind of hate Kinos Pupa. But, you know. When I can't can't deny is doing good stuff here. Sometimes I guess you just need a body, and Kenos is a pretty good it's like a you know it's a horn warrior. This requires a lot of effort. So I like Ancient Resonance here. I think it's pretty solid, but I think Wingmaker is just gonna be a way like Wingmaker is just a way better card. Like, full stop. 
So I think we're just skipping. Don't even look at me. Did we have we taken any umber cards? Well, let's look at the umber cards we've taken this game, right? Wormkin. We did take um Antumber Assault. This was a desperation pick. We took a purple card with Antumber Assault, so that's one. Okay, engine upgrade two. And you know what? Even mine class we took. I'm pretty sure too. So three. You know what? Okay, I, I take it back. I shouldn't be so mean to Umbra cards, but I was just looking at those picks there, and I was just like dreading their existence. So, you know, it's fine. Remove consume. Doesn't do much. These all don't do much if I'm being honest. Okay, lights gift makes things easier. I don't know why we wouldn't take it. It seems like a pretty a pretty pretty simple choice to me. Take that. Mine's is also pretty good. It's just like a, a, a it's more or less a flat damage boost. Because you have to consider our like resting JO crystal count, right? Is five. But this makes it six, which is better than five. So our damage will be increased. What do we got in here too? Uh We have a few consume cards. Trader's Quill is not nothing. I think we take it here for the damage. And then... Roll this, probably. Um, make you zero costed. Roll. No holdover. No. It is what it is. Come in here. Do if you go to 100. Again, I did say it before kind of jokingly, but it's not exact. I don't feel like it's 100% wrong. Holdover Wingmaker is, is or I said before, Holdover Return Soul is kind of like Holdover Wingmaker here for us. So, I think it'll work out okay. Finally put a plus on the Mind Collapse. And then we remove our last Unsurged Plank. All looks pretty good to me. Nothing else left to do. Okay. Curses are not very pog. I'll be the first to admit it. Um, Forgotten Trade also pretty weak here. But it is a purple card. We get back incubation, like a beautiful thing right there. Wipe that floor, that's a no-brainer. Hatch this bad boy this turn. We need to start popping up our crystals up here. I don't need a ton of them, but we need to start working on it a little bit. Um, I don't think you're going to die, but we might as well put that there, I suppose. We make you here to stop curses. Okay. I think we go Big Dust, Return Soul, grab a Wingmaker, and wipe this floor out to stop the curses here. I don't know, just play this for funsies. Oh, that, we could have, we could have, oh, that was a misplay. We could have just hit that with the, uh, Mind Collapse. It was a 10 healther. Could have Mind Collapse instead. Would have been a much better turn overall. That is my bad. Um, okay. Doesn't really help this floor, so I might as well just pick this guy off. 
our our goal now our goal now is to basically just get as much damage shield on the spine chief as we can also wait hold on a second do we only have oh we only have a maximum of four normally why did i think we had a maximum of five normally my brain is so broken man it's so frigged up um Let me just snag the shelter. Okay. We make her for Curse Boy. Oh, I played Wingmaker first. I got it consumed. Oh well. It would have been nice on this floor, but it's not essential, I suppose. Um, I think we're good to play it this way. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Easy. I'm, I. You know what? Great work, Spine Chief. Great work, Kenho's pupa. I gotta stop talking so much smack about you guys. You're, you're you know, you're doing good stuff. Cool, cool, cool. I'm like, I, I thought this would be a struggle, and I think, um, I think the trample is really just like kind of helping us a lot here. But this might be a bit of a roadblock. It's been, it's been smooth sailing so far, but there might be some issues now coming up. We'll see. We'll see how things play out. Oh, you know what? We had lights get this whole time, too. Forgot about that part. Okay. I think we're J-chilling. Okay, we should be able to get the hatch next turn. I think we save Prism Dust when we have a lot of energy. Let's say maybe we can get a Wingmaker here to get some extra space upgrades. We get two of them, which is nice to see. Although we don't get a purple yet, but we will be able to get one with Return Soul here, so we're fine. Um, hit here. I think this is the worst card. Pop that, hatch the egg. We're gonna need to give the egg some da damage shield here too, which is kind of funny. Hmm. Well, maybe shelters is enough, we'll see. Just make sure you definitely die, okay. Good, good, good. We're not, we're not, we're not hitting return so long shelter yet. We're gonna use this to scale some armor up, I think. But let's just, let's just snag a uh, fracture here. Mm. That's okay here too. What will we broken memories back here, if anything? Oh, I think I have a line. Oh, it doesn't work that well. I think we actually broken memories back forgotten trade, which is kind of funny. But I think we do a big forgotten trade into uh, Prismal Dust play. We put it back on top.
Okay. By the way, good thing we didn't go for something stupid like, uh, like, a uh, uh, what's it? One horn's tome here on the uh, beetle. We would have just lost there. Oh, perfect. That that went well. Um. What do you damage it? I guess the beetle. The beetle, I think, is more important than Chief here. Because he's a little bit more fragile, so yeah. 22 damage shield there is looking pretty solid. Looking pretty good going into the next uh, couple combats here. Wipe the floor. Keep playing Fractures here. It's, look, it's looking like GG for the Divinity, I'd, I'd say. You know what's actually pretty funny, too? If we just get the deck so thin that we only have uh, Wingmakers, it's kind of like Wingmaker has pulled over again, huh? Get your, let's get your, your, your spikes out of here if we can. If you don't mind. We go thank you yeah we don't have any cards left in the deck huh um yeah we've got we've got a fracture a shelter and a wing maker that's okay that's cool This is not the end. Okay. Hey, cool run. Worked out uh, better than I thought it would. It felt a little dicey in the early to mid game, but once we got everything, you know, set up, it just worked. Who, and who, who do you, who would you say is like the linchpin card here? What would you say like really carried this run? There's a lot of key components here. I feel like accelerated incubation is like a sleeper pick here for like hey this really helped our run get figured out because it made our egg hatch like turn three consistently whereas we had combats like i don't know fell for example where we took like six or seven turns to hatch right we've got um wing makers which also gave us heft which i think is probably the most important thing so i think wing makers is the number one pick here for sure um pretty easily uh incubation sleeper pick and then return soul uh, just a workhorse too. That you know, arguably more important than Wingmaker, but debatable. Anyway, I'll give you the seed. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed this episode. What do we got here? What do we got here for the seed? What is it? Come on. Come on. Ba -ba -ba. Hopefully it's like, you know, J.O. Crystal Boys. Receives Alloy Advocate. Close enough. Have a good one. Goodbye.